Hey guys, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria, and today I am at 31 weeks pregnant. So I recently had my glucose screen done, and I wanted to talk about my results. Most of you know that I follow a high-carb, low-fat, plant-based vegan diet. I've been doing so for almost six years now, and my health has just improved over the years, and I've just become a healthier person. But so many people still believe that if you eat a high carbohydrate diet, you'll get diabetes, you'll become fat, um, if you're not like super, super active. And I'm not a super, super active person. I am active every day. I am following a toddler around, I am pregnant, so my body is using energy. But everybody's body uses carbohydrates as its primary fuel source, whether you're sitting at a, a desk job all day, or you're using your brain, which runs only on glucose, if you're doing any kind of physical activity, if you're just sitting there breathing, watching TV, you're burning through carbohydrates. So anything that we do requires carbohydrate fuel to be there to use, and then it needs to be replenished. Unlike fat and protein, which we have the ability to store and we don't require a lot of, especially as adults. So I wanted to talk about my own um, glucose reading that I got back. It came in at a measurement of 110, which anything below 140 for that one hour glucose screen test is considered normal. <clears throat> Mine was on the lower end of normal, which means that my body is extremely efficient at using insulin to take the sugar out of my blood and put it into my cells, which is the outcome that you get following a high carb, low fat, plant-based vegan diet over time. If you look into the work of Walter Neppner, he developed the rice diet where it's a diet based on fruit, fruit juice, white rice, and sugar, and he was able to cure his patients from diabetes, hypertension, kidney disease, um, diseases that are all <laughs> created from consuming too much fat, protein, and sodium in the diet. I've been doing a high carb, low fat, plant-based vegan diet for a long time. I drink juice, I eat fruity snacks that contain sugar, I drink lemonade, I eat baked potatoes, I eat white rice. Right now I'm averaging over 3,500 calories a day. Getting back to my glucose test, I actually wanted to talk about that because when I had it done in my first pregnancy, I actually had a number come up that was high. So it was 155. Like I said, the cutoff is 140 for that test. So I had to go back in like a week later and they did this more extensive test and all that came back normal. The day before I had that test for my first pregnancy, when it came up a little high, I had oil in my foods. So I was eating a high carb diet, but I had had two meals that day that had oil in them. I had a pizza from Domino's, which you can get a vegan one, but it has, I think the size I got was a medium. It has almost 20 grams of fat in it. And I ate that at like 10.30 at night and I had the test at 10 o'clock the next day. And then I had also had a meal of like a rice bowl or something from some kind of like Chipotle style restaurant. Oil or fats, overt fats, can stay in your bloodstream for up to 12 hours interfering with the way that your body can use insulin. So when you have fat impeding your bloodstream, it makes insulin's job harder. So it stays in the bloodstream longer, keeping your blood sugar levels elevated because it has a harder time of transporting that sugar into your cells because the fat's in the way. So that is the reason why I didn't pass my glucose test the first time. And the reason why I did pass the test the second time is because I haven't eaten any oil for gosh, months. I haven't had any ounce of oil. I don't do any overt fats, no avocado, no nuts, no seeds, other than what's found naturally in fruits. And when you eat a high carb, low fat, plant-based vegan diet, you naturally consume under 10%, under 5% uh, fat, and you don't even desire it. I don't crave any kind of 
foods that are higher in fat or protein. You can eat as many carbs as you want every day from clean sources, fruit, fruit juice, sugar, sugary snacks, but you want the fat content to be very low, like zero grams, and uh, potatoes, super low fat, and white rice. So those are my main staples, plus I eat vegetables. But that's how you keep your blood sugar levels normal, and especially in pregnancy. From what I was reading is estrogen actually makes you more prone to insulin resistance, which is why some women they become diabetic once they get into pregnancy and that's why it's called gestational diabetes because it means that you didn't have diabetes prior to pregnancy. And that's one of the reasons why is because estrogen drives up insulin levels. So as a pregnant woman, you actually want to be strict on your diet um, in terms of your fat intake because your body is just way more sensitive. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully I answered some questions. Um, remember, you can have a healthy and safe pregnancy um, following a high carb, low fat, plant based vegan diet. I've done it twice now. And it's just the best way to eat and live. See you later. Bye.